An action packed week for the Steelers as they train for the upcoming season. But today the team taking some time to once again honor those who made the Steelers name a household tradition. Jack Hillgrove from our Sinclair sister station reports. Good evening. In 1982, on the 50th anniversary of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise, the chief, the owner of the franchise, Art Rooney, was given a commemorative steel football by the United States Steel Corporation. Today, replica steel footballs symbolize induction into the Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Honor established back in 2017. And on Saturday at training camp, the hall, filled with 49 names, grew by four more. Offensive lineman Ray Mansfield and Jerry Mullins, defensive lineman Aaron Smith, and outside linebacker James Harrison make up this year's class. And Steelers president Art Rooney appreciates the balance of 21st century Steelers and guys that were there around the time the franchise began to take off. A lot of guys who uh, you know, were part of the foundation team going way back, and, uh, and, and this year uh, you know, Ray Mansfield started in the, the humble, humbler times of Steeler football. and. Uh, so uh, it's great to see somebody like that be recognized as well. Jerry Moon Mullins, a part of all four Super Bowl teams in the 70s, playing in 124 regular season games over nine seasons in Pittsburgh. The swing guard was also a member of the Steelers' 50th anniversary team. You know, Ray Mansfield started at center in those first two Super Bowls. Um, he is um, an unsung guy, but I really think that his, beyond what he contributed on the field, um, he was the glue, I think. Mm. Another guy up front on the offensive side, Ray Mansfield. He started at center in Super Bowls 9 and 10. And Labriola notes how fulfilling it is to have the entire Steelers offensive line from the 70s in the Hall of Honor. And I think that, you know, that's significant. It was something that I think we wanted to do as a committee. Uh, and I'm happy that we were able to get it done. The inductee in attendance today at St. Vincent, defensive end Aaron Smith. Smith played in 160 games over 13 years, two of them Super Bowl victories, which is something he attributes his career success to. You know, when you become a Steeler, it's kind of a level of expectations of excellence and to put forth your best effort. And I think just to be part of that and to be able to contribute and carry on that legacy and tradition is, is, is is immense, you know, and I think anybody that takes on that puts on that uniform probably feels that. I mean, you see Mike Tomlin and those guys out there, I guarantee they feel that the time you walk into this place, that expectation is there to win the Super Bowl. And going in with Smith, one of his teammates, Debo James Harrison. Harrison's interception return for a touchdown in Super Bowl 43, regarded as the greatest play in Super Bowl history. And Smith, to no surprise, had high praise for number 92. James is probably probably one of the best football players I've ever been, but he's a great guy and a friend and, uh, you know, well-deserved to him. Like, to, be, to have him going in there with me, too, uh, both guys on that same defense and the, and the things that we did together, it's, it's, it's going to be a pleasure. And speaking of high praise for Debo, one of his head coaches did as well. James is a hard worker and, and tremendous competitor. Um, and heaped on top of all of that, man, he was an awesome character, man. He was a guy that brought energy um, and laughter to our day. Um, just an awesome guy, man, and well deserving of the honor. The 2023 Hall of Honor will be honored with a dinner and inducted into the hall on Saturday, October 28th. And then on Sunday, the 29th, when the Steelers are set to host the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Hall of Honor class will be honored at Acrisher Stadium. With the Steelers at training camp at St. Vincent College, I'm Jack Hillgrove.